The world changed in 2020. Humanity was fighting an invisible enemy and overnight, normality was gone. Well established patterns interrupted and livelihoods wiped out. When restrictions finally lifted, Aiden helped us document our first camp. Hello Aiden. Hello. Aha. Baie goed, dankie. Um, is dit so is beter vir jou, nee. Yeah, yeah, okay, so Closed borders broke Namibia's tourism industry and the lockdown lasted for months. So when you need eat this, then we take off and do. After being cooped up in this house for such a long time, we really appreciated the prospect of a proper camp. We were lucky enough to have food to eat and a roof over our heads during this lockdown. Many were not that fortunate. Still, being trapped in one place when you live in Namibia is not normal. Namibia is a land of wide open spaces and incredible beauty. In the years before COVID, people came from all over the world to see. Bitak stop! Bitak stop! So donkey! <laughs> I can off play with this bit. <laughs> After packing was completed, the last thing to do was to lock up the house and then go. Spitzkopper was the chosen destination for this camp. It is a magical place. 200 kilometers of wide open desert lie between us and Spitzkopper. Much of Namibia's beauty comes from its aridness. We have to import everything to stay alive. Even recently, people get stranded in the desert with no resources and then expire from exposure. For this journey, the back roads give much better views. I often think of the hardships faced by the early explorers of this barren land as we glide through it effortlessly in our air-conditioned, mechanised carriages. No water, no shade and nothing to eat for horse or rider. Of course, our forefathers were smarter than to try and cross these vast expanses directly. No. They uh, followed the rivers and stayed over at uh, various places like this oasis here. If this landscape looks familiar to you, you most probably watched Mad Max 4 Fury Road, which included this stretch of road. Quite a few movies are made in Namibia, in fact. The wide open spaces attract more than just tourists. Across these wide open spaces, there are long distances and the tarred highways form a welcome respite from the gravel roads, so common on long distance trips. 
This is a segment of the Trans Kalahari Highway. It's long, straight, and narrow with endless horizons. It's been all too long since Spitzkopper has been on the horizon. The community at Spitzkopper are dependent on the proceeds of the campsites. So the last couple of years have been tough for them. Campsite 4 at Spitzkopper provides the most unobstructed views of the amazing landscapes of this place. The worries of the previous year and a half were fading away as we were soaking up sunshine and the wonders of nature. When you are hiding from the spread of an infectious disease, there are few destinations that are better than Namibia. Of course, the Namibian government took the pandemic seriously and closed down early and hard. With no money for social aid, the people suffered. Homeschooling and closed bars cut social interaction. Most businesses closed or suffered greatly. There are no mosquitoes at Spitzkopper, so this is the perfect place to sleep outside under the stars. There are no set routines on camps. The rhythm of nature dictates the event of the day. Life does not stop throwing curveballs at you just because there is a worldwide pandemic on. About a month before this camp, Isolde broke both of her arms in a freak accident, turning her into an invalid almost overnight. This was the first time she was able to take one of the slings off and face the rigors of a few days in the outdoors. After a few months of the lockdown, the Namibian economy was on its knees. 
Namibia had no choice but to open its borders. For the few tourists that could stand the quarantines necessary to cross the border, Namibia greeted with open arms. National Geographic took advantage of the lack of tourists recently and produced a segment of their show, One Strange Rock, hosted by Walt Smith during this lockdown. Because Spitzkopper was weathered into interesting shapes through the eons, there are a great many places to go out and explore. This is great for some early morning exercise to get the heart pumping and get the best shots ever. Send it. Yeah. You can also do this if you want. Da, 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 da. It's easier da, 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 da. for da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. And then you could just stand here. Welcome. You're on top. Welcome. It's all here. Hey, come on. Tough. Well, I'm going to come out of the way. Throughout the eons, as these mountains are weathering away, many people have called it their home. The earliest inhabitants that have left a mark are the sun. Survival in Namibia is pretty difficult without resources. Even though there is some wildlife in this weird area, it still needs to be located and killed. carefully selecting durable paints and sheltered areas to paint in, the Bushmen were able to leave messages to their descendants that lasted thousands of years. In the form of pictures, these messages show the direction of water and animals in the area, which is a great help to their descendants.
Looking into the future is hard with this many uncertainties. Will the next variant wipe out all the gains made against the current one? Does it make sense to invest in an industry when the customers may never be coming back? For people depending on tourists at Spitzkopper, there is nothing else. They wait. The animals at Spitzkopper have no such bodies. Life is good when you're safe, well fed and protected from the elements. Sharing moments of happiness with your family makes you truly blessed. Moments like these get me thinking. What is considered normal is different for everyone and it changes over time. Normality may not be such a good goal.